Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. Today we are talking about the plan cost management process and this process has nothing to do with the potato, the spoon, the coins, the calculator and everything else that you see on the screen right now. Let's talk about plan cost management but before we do so let me get a few things out of the way. Number one, if you want to read an article on plan cost management instead of watching this video, first link in the description, you can go ahead, it will take you to pmclounge.com, our website, the related article that is available on plan cost management. On this YouTube channel, we have close to 400 videos on project management and related articles to all those 400 videos are available on the pmclounge.com website. So don't miss that out. Now let's get started. All right, so first of all, where are we? The plan cost management, it is the first process in the cost management knowledge area and it falls under the planning process group. So the knowledge area is cost management knowledge area and the process group is the planning process group. In fact, let's look at it in pictorial format so that it is easy to understand. So this is the knowledge area, the project cost management knowledge area. And this is the process group, planning process group. And this is where what we are discussing today, the process that we are talking about, plan cost management. If you recall the schedule and scope management knowledge areas, which we have already talked about, you will recall that we have already discussed the first processes of those knowledge areas which are actually similar to this one because they are called plan schedule management and plan scope management respectively right so similarly for cost management knowledge area we have plan cost management now what is this process about so like i mentioned in the previous slide the previous knowledge areas like the scope management knowledge area and the schedule management knowledge area if you have read them, if you have already covered the processes of scope and schedule management knowledge areas, all the inputs and all the tools and techniques that are used as part of the plan cost management process, you already know them. So over here at PNC Lounge, we don't really cover the tools and techniques, the inputs and the outputs because we don't believe in learning them to clear the PMP exam. You need to understand the concepts behind these inputs, outputs and tools and techniques. And we have already discussed the concepts of every single input and every single tools and technique that you are going to use as part of the plan cost management process. So we are not getting into it. And like I mentioned in the previous slide, if you are already aware of the first planning process of the previous knowledge areas like schedule and scope, you already know that the output of plan cost management process will also be same as the previous processes, which is the cost management plan. So in the schedule management knowledge area and scope management knowledge area, the output of the first planning process is schedule management plan and scope management plan respectively. So similarly here in the cost management knowledge area, the output of the first planning process is the cost management plan. So let's talk about cost management plan a bit here because this is an output, the only output of this process. And like I mentioned in the previous slide, all the inputs and all the tools and techniques that you're going to use as part of this process are already discussed. So you're already aware of it if you have studied scope and schedule management knowledge areas. So this is the only differential and we must discuss the cost management plan. So this is a document and it is a subsidiary plan of the project management plan. So just like your schedule management plan, scope management plan this cost management plan is also a subsidiary plan of something which is known as the project management plan we have already covered the project management plan in great detail when we were talking about the integration management knowledge area in fact let me drop a link in the description below to the playlist of project management plan so the output cost management plan like i said is a subsidiary plan of 
the wholesome project management plan now what is this document used for and this is important so as a project manager you are going to use this document this document means the cost management plan so as a project manager you are going to use this document to specify three things the accuracy of your cost estimates because you need to come up with the cost estimates as part of this knowledge area the rules you will use to determine whether or not the cost processes are working so you have rules here as well in this uh, plan and finally how you are going to track your budget as the project progresses right so as the project moves forward how are you going to track the expenses that you are making against the budget that your project has so all these are mentioned as part of the cost management plan all these are mentioned in this document something more that you should know about cost management plan is that the cost management plan is also used to determine the unit of budget now what do i mean when i say unit of budget so you have your project budget right what is the unit of that budget that is something which is determined in your cost management plan so let me give you an example it could be person hours or it could be actual value in money so you may talk about your project as saying that the project costs 200 person hours right so that means the the cost of the project the unit that you're using is in person hours or you may say the cost of the project is 100,000 us dollars that means the budget that you are proposing for the project right the budget that you have come up with is in terms of money so what is the unit of your project budget is something which should be defined in your cost management plan so this is something of course the unit of the budget this is something which should be clearly defined in your cost management plan and all stakeholders should know this up front right so you cannot have a stakeholder an important stakeholder like let's say your project sponsor expecting the unit of the budget being in terms of us dollars but then you go ahead and you provide person hours and the sponsor has no idea how to translate person hours to us dollars right so this is definitely something that you should define in your cost management plan and this is definitely something that your stakeholders should be uh, you know should be in agreement of using this very unit of your project budget so in conclusion let me tell you that this process basically what you do is that you plan all the work that you will do to ensure the project doesn't cost more than what you have budgeted this is a very important conclusion and i'd like you to read it again so you're basically planning out all the work that you're going to do right all the work that you will do to make sure that the project doesn't overshoot does not suffer from cost overrun so whatever that you have budgeted how do you ensure that your project falls within this budget is what you are mentioning or is what you are planning all the work that you are going to do to make sure this happens is present in your cost management plan and thus this is an extremely important plan so many projects that you will see around overshoot on cost so many projects especially government projects across the world you will see suffer from cost overrun that means their cost management plan is something that can be improved because the cost management plan should contain the plan for everything that you would do to make sure that your project does not cost more than what you have originally budgeted for so if you know of a project manager if you know of projects that he delivers he or she delivers and they do not suffer from cost overrun take a look at their cost management plan that is going to be an absolutely fantastic cost management plan because their projects are running within the budget 
which is every project manager's dream come true. So before I end this video, let me remind you pmclounge.com slash resources is where I have listed my favorite PMP preparation books. You can check that out. Also, if you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new videos. And don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.